Now, alpha adrenoceptor blocking agents. These are used in the treatment of hypertension, include prazosin, dexazosin, and terazosin. They produce a competitive block at alpha 1 adrenoceptors and thereby decreasing peripheral vascular resistance and lowering the arterial BP by causing relaxation of both arterial and venous smooth muscles. They will have minimal changes in cardiac output, renal blood flow, or GFR. Long term tachycardia does not occur, but salt and water retention does. Reflex tachycardia and postural hypotension often occur at the onset of treatment with dose increasing. So, slow titration is required. Alpha blockers are no longer recommended as initial treatment for hypertension, but may be used as a refractory cases. Now, labetalol, carbidolol blocks alpha 1, beta 1 and beta 2 receptors. Carbidolol is indicated in the treatment of heart failure and hypertension. It has been shown to reduce morbidity and mortality associated with heart failure and it is used in the management of gestational hypertension and hypertensive emergencies. Centrally acting adrenergic drugs, clonidine. It acts as an alpha 2 agonist and reduces the inhibition of sympathetic vasomotor centers decreasing sympathetic outflow of the periphery. This leads to reduced total peripheral resistance and decreased BP. Clonidine is primarily used for the treatment of hypertension that has not responded adequately to treatment with two or more drugs. And it does not decrease renal blood flow or GFR. It is used in the treatment of hypertension which is complicated by renal disease. It is well absorbed orally. Rebound hypertension will occur if abruptly withdrawal of this drug. Constipation, dry mouth, drowsiness, hypertension and confusion are the adverse effects of clonidine. Now methyl dopa. It is an alpha 2 agonist and it converted to methyl norepinephrine. Side effect is sedation and drowsiness. Its use is limited for multiple daily dose and mainly it is used for pregnancy hypertension because it is safe. Vasodilators, direct acting smooth muscle relaxants such, such as hydralazine, min, minozidil are not the primary primary agents for hypertension. Uh, how they do? The mechanism is they relax the vascular smooth muscles in arteries and arterioles and decrease peripheral resistance, therefore decrease BP. Vasodilators also increase plasma renin concentration and resulting in sodium and water retention. Undesirable effects are can be blocked these undesirable by diuretic to decrease this retention and beta blocker to balance reflex tachycardia. Hydralazine is used for pregnancy induced hypertension adverse effects are headache tachycardia nausea vomiting arrhythmia first choice for pregnancy hypertension is methyl dopa headache tachycardia palpitations in and nausea are the adverse effects now hypertensive emergency it is a rare but life-threatening situation when the bp is above 180 and above 120 and it leads to progressive organ damage such as stroke, MI, hypertensive emergencies require timely BP reduction and treatment is IV only. To limit the organ damage, calcium channel blockers, nicardipine, clavodipine, nitric oxide vasodilators, nitroprusside and nitroglycerine, adrenergic receptor agonists, fentolamine, esmolol, labetalol, vasodilator, hydralazine and dopamine agonist, phenol, dapam. Treatment is directed now resistant hypertension bp that remains elevated even after the administration of three drug regimen include at including a diuretic the most common resistant hypertension are poor compliance excessive ethanol intake concomitant such as diabetes sleep apnea hyperaldosteronism high salt intake in drugs